great ever. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I highlight my hair, which may or may not be true, right? Are we just true oh, yeah. yeah. I have met my birth dad, which means she's not living. Oh. I would assume it's, she means she doesn't live with her birth dad. Or he, although he doesn't generally highlight his hair, but maybe. Say this class first semester was my worst grade ever. What? How do you know? How did you know it was Allie right away? It's interesting to me. How did you know? It's Allie, yes. So you've met your birthday. No. You've never. No. So you do highlight your hair. Yes. You've met your birth mom. Yes. This class first semester is your worst grade ever. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's got to be some class where it's your worst grade ever. I mean, there's got to be one, right? And it's, this is the one, and it's the way it goes. I had a girl I saw, um, I went to, we played at Hamilton like five years ago. This lady walks up to me and goes, hi, I'm like, hello, and I kind of remember her. And she's like, you gave me detention, my only detention in high school. <laughs> okay, hold a grudge along 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, 20 years ago I gave her detention. I didn't even know. Like, I don't know. She was late tardy, probably, because I gave tardies for detentions. Because... It's interesting. All right, thanks, Allie, for sharing here. What was it like meeting your birth mom? If I may ask. Yeah? How old were you? I was in seventh grade. Okay. Like you were actually actively searching for this person? Yeah, I've been like looking for him for years. Like we didn't know. Like, so you and your like your adopted mom and dad are in this with you? Like they're all helping you? Sort of. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while since we met. But when we met the last time, we talked about these kind of things. So what I want you to do. Uh, four minute. Oh, we have a bonus question too. Just in case. No, we no, no. Yes, we did. It was on the slide. Go. 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 Yep. 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 All your complaints are being registered for posterity right there. Can you see Ivy? I'll put the bonus question on the screen when everybody's ready for the bonus question. Are you ready for the bonus question? If you go to the next slide. Are we good? If you're not, too bad. Here we go. Bonus question. The number one ingredient in Coca-Cola is blank. Since this is a pop quiz, we should have a pop question. I think, I think I'm funny. Okay, uh, so groups, uh, Riley, you'll be with uh, uh, Dylan and Chase, Gavin and Avery, you'll be with Ben, you four, you four, you two and Bryce, you and those two, uh, you two with the two behind you, and you two with the two behind you, so here's what I want you to do, I want you to mix Circle around, and you're going to get one quiz paper. I'm going to hand out five, eight new blank ones. You're going to uh, pick, and you're going to write all the correct, your group is going to come up with the correct answers for your group to this. Understand? You're going to hand that in.
Okay, let's see how we did. Uh, number one, I don't really care that you know the four kinds of teeth, but I thought it'd be a good review since Ivy is going to give us a little presentation on teeth next time. Uh, canines, incisors, molars, premolars, uh, that would be good. And some, I don't know, I, I think I have an argument about premolars or molars, but looks like pretty much everybody got that except for that group. <laughs> Uh, number two, to allow, what's the uvula for? I was a little surprised by this, that this group, shout out to Chase, Dylan and Riley, prevents anything going into the nasal cavity, correct? It flips up, remember it flips up and covers the opening to the nose when you swallow, so if you partially swallow, you try to breathe through your nose and nothing goes. Uh, Allie, Ivy, your group got it. Uh, that one's a really long answer. Uh, Sarah, good. All right, uh, number three is peristalsis. I think everybody got that. Various spellings of peristalsis, I like that. We have Y's and we have A's and we have, it's E-I actually, but. Um, number four, are the liver and pancreas generally used for digestion? I probably should have explained that a little better, but generally they produce some kind of chemical that produce some kind of chemical that uh, digests your food. So the liver produces bile, remember, and the pancreas produces pancreatin. And number five, two good reasons that stomach acid, uh, these people put, uh, they put their name on it, so I don't know who it is, but they put to break down food better and to clean out bacteria from what you eat. Perfect. Okay, perfect answer for that. That'll work. Um, and then the last one, Number one ingredient in Coca-Cola, as in any drink that is liquid, which would be any drink, is water. <laughs> the number one ingredient in Coca-Cola has to be water. Okay, it's also the number one ingredient in Propel, Gatorade, coffee. I mean, when you make coffee, right, you drip the water in the It would be solid if you put sugar in it, yeah. All right. So that was a review. Put that away. I don't want to see the plane breaking up anymore. Okay, uh, take out your notebook. We're going to keep continuing. Yes, sir. Google's wrong. So just a quick review of um, quick review of the liver and pancreas part is the, uh, remember that the liver, and you saw the liver in your rabbit as being very much larger than this diagram illustrates, right? So, I don't know how many people said to me, hey, what's this part down here? I'm like, that's still the liver, and you're like, whoa, that's still the liver. There's like, huge, the liver's huge. And so, remember that the liver, what's, along with the gallbladder, okay, the gallbladder is very, did, did you see the gallbladder in your rabbit? I don't remember. Some of you did, some of you didn't. It'll be buried in the liver, like it's like it's stuck into the liver. And the gallbladder and the liver produce the gallbladder stores bile, the liver produces bile. You can live without your gallbladder. Is anybody here without their gallbladder? Your sister doesn't have a gallbladder. There you go. So she knows somebody without their gallbladder. They both produce chemicals, the liver and the pancreas, that are secreted in the duodenum right where the food enters it. We talked about that last time, and I know it was like uh, 10 days ago, so the whole reason we did the quiz is not for me to grade it, by the way. Not gonna grade it. It was just to make the review. 